If we open our menu and try tabbing through, the user can easily break out to the rest of the page content. So we're going to add two new refs here called Top Tab Trap and Bottom Tab Trap, which we place at the top and the bottom of our sidebar. Each gets a tab index, so they're focusable, and we'll use these to detect if the user has focus to the top or the bottom of the sidebar. We'll also add two reps for the first and last focusable element in the sidebar, which is where we'll send the focus when the user hits our tab traps. So we'll use react.useEffect. We'll add a trap focus function. And we'll make that the listener on the focus in event. And we should remove the event listener when the component unmounts. So if the user has currently tabbed to our top tab trap, we want to give focus to the last focusable element. We'll remove the tab index we set earlier. I'll give the close button an auto focus. And it works. We successfully trapped the tab focus within our sidebar. So let's add a condition so we don't trap the focus when the sidebar is static. I'll slide over the browser and see that it works. So to recap, we made some tab trap refs, which we placed on elements at the top and the bottom of our sidebar. We added refs to the first and last focusable elements in our sidebar. We listen on the focus in event. And as long as the sidebar is not static, we send focus from the top tab trap to the bottom of the sidebar, or the bottom of the tab trap to the top of the sidebar.